Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, STEM 004 students. Welcome, 003. Ay, 3 pala, ad advanced. Uh -oh. Physics 2 naman uh -oh. na yun. <laughs> Welcome to our Physics 1. O, oh, yan, uh -oh. a 1 physics class. Physics 1 pa pala okay. muna. Pinapahirapan muna sila kaagad-agad. Sana tayo pa rin teacher nila sa Physics 2. Woo! Diyos ko Lord! Explaining <laughs> planetary motion through Kepler's law. Parang kakaiba yung Kepler's. <laughs> Para bakit pa rin dapat ito? Huwag na mo lang, huwag na mo lang pala yung, di ba? Kepler's. Sa... Para kayong mag apiyado <laughs> yan. Di ba sa bang, ano, lingwahe yan ng mga, ano, mga chocolate? Uh, Kepler. Uh, Nakakainis naman yung Kepler's. <laughs> Ayan, module 16, 16. Kepler's law. <laughs> Tsaka ng Kepler's. <laughs> stapler, stapler yun. Sa mga bak sa, sa gay linggo. Ayan. Okay, our objective first is to describe and explain the planetary motion using Kepler's law. Calculate the distance and periods of objects orbiting orbiting a planet. Pahirap ang pahirap, pero kakayanin natin itong mga anak, okay? Ayan. So, meron tayong picture dyan. Johannes. Okay. Siya po si Johannes. Bakit Kepler. Bakit naka-present naka ang kanyang picture dahil siya po ang nakadiscover ng lahat ng yan at yes. ng laws na gagamitin natin. So, siya po si Johannes Kepler. Kepler. Ang aking father in law. <laughs> Joke lang. Kepler. Johannes Kepler, more than a half century before Newton proposed his three laws of motion and his law of universal gravitation. The German astronomer Johannes Kepler from 1571 to 1630 had written a number of astronomical works in which we can find a detailed description of the motion of the planets about the sun. Uh, so Kepler's work resulted in part from the many years he spent examining data collected by Tycho Brahe from, nine, from 1546 to 1601 on the positions of the planets in their motion through the heavens. Ano kaya ano no? Ano kaya pinakain sa mga taong yan nung bata sila? No? <laughs> bakit sobrang Grabe talino utak, at uh, bakit naisip nila yung mga ganong uh, bagay? Bakit nakalculate nila mga bagay-bagay uh, na yan? Among Kepler's writings were three findings that we now refer to as Kepler's Law of Planetary Motion. Yun, tatlo. So tatlo rin yung aaralin natin. Ano, ano yung mga yun? Mundo, diba? yan, Kepler's Laws of Planetary Motion. First law. Okay, sabi niya, sa first law niya, the path of each planet about the sun is an ellipse with the sun of one focus. Ayan, okay. ellipse daw, di ba tama ganito oh, ellipse yung yan. ellipse? Okay. Sun so, with one focus. focus. Planet and sun with, Ayan. with so ano? take note, involved dyan ang x and, and y, y axis. Yes. Or axis, sorry. Yes. And second law is, Kepler's second law, each planet moves so that an imaginary... Uh, imaginary imaginary line drawn from the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal periods of time. The two shaded regions have equal areas. The planets move fastest in their orbit where they are closest to the sun. O take note, sabi niya dyan, the two shaded regions have equal areas. So, kung itong isa pa, why then? Itong isa pa, anong tawag doon? Pahaba. Ayun. Mahaba siya. Ito, maliit, pero maluwag. Ito, pasikip. Ayan. And last is yung third law natin. At dyan nato tayo mag ano, concentrate yes. Okay, kay Kepler's third law, sabi niya, the ratio of the squares of the periods needed for one revolution about the sun of any two planets revolving about the sun is equal to the ratio of the cubes of their mean distances from the sun. That is, if T1 and T2 represent the periods of any two planets, and N, R1 and R2 represent their mean distances from the sun, then we have this formula. Ayan. So, ito po yung ating periods of any two planets, at ito naman yung distance from the sun. So, para mas maintindihan natin, ipakita na natin siya using our... Important notes muna. Wala. Oh, important notes muna. Oh, wala mo wala. Ayan, okay. meron pa tayong mga definition. Ano bang perihelion natin? Point on planet's orbit that is closest oh, to the sun. Pinaka. It is on the major axis. axis. Meron perihelion. Din tayong, oh, oh, meron tayong apelion. Okay? Okay, yung, yung apel yung ano, di ba? Yung gusto mong mag-apel. Apelion. <laughs> Hindi, apelion yung kapag malakas yung, ta yung dating. Apelion. Ay, apelion. 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 
point in a planet orbit that is farthest from the sun. Kung yung perihelion, ma'am, yung pinaka-closest to the sun, si Apelion naman yung pinaka far malayo. Sun. It is on the major axis also, directly opposite the perihelion point. So, okay. magka, magka, ano sila? magkasalungat. magkasalungat. The Apelion plus perihelion is equal to the major axis. And the semi-major axis then is the average of the apelion <laughs> and perihelion distances. Ayan. And lastly is focus. One of two special Fukai. points. Kapag focus is uh, plural. Uh -oh. Fukai. Singular. Singular. Okay. One of two special points along the major axis such that the distance between it and any point of the ellipse plus the distance between the fo other focus of the same point of the ellipse is always the same value. Parehas daw ng value. Mm -hmm. And the, the sun, sun is at one of the two foci, foci, yes. okay? And the sun is not at the center of the orbit. Ayun. Okay. And, ayun na. Let's... Ayan, let's proceed with our example for module 16. Satellite A at a distance of 6.0 units orbits a planet in 2 weeks. Satellite B orbits in 7 weeks. How far is it from the planet. Okay, so sa ating PowerPoint, eto rin po ang nilagay nating formula. Yun nga lang ang nakalagay po doon is sub 1 and sub 2. Since dito sa given problem natin nagbigay siya ng satellite A and satellite B, we will be using time sub A and time sub B is equal to distance sub A all over distance sub B. At since alam na natin ang ating formula, kunin natin yung mga given, okay? So dito sa ating satellite A daw, ang given time niya is ilan? 2 weeks in order for it to orbit the planet. So 2 weeks. Dito naman sa ating satellite B, ang given time natin ay 7 weeks. Next, ang distance ng satellite A natin ay 6.0 units daw. And for our satellite B, since walang given dyan, question mark, or yan po ang ating hahanapin. But take note na ang formula po natin ay ito. Since ang hinahanap natin ay ang R sub B, we need to, ano kailangan natin Derive. gawin? Derive the formula. How? Kunin muna natin or i-distribute muna natin ang kanilang exponent. Dito na lang sa baba. Okay? I-distribute natin yung exponent. T sub A squared is? T A squared. T A squared. Very Ay, obvious. Ano. Ayan. 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 And T sub B squared is? T sub B squared. Ayan. Is equal to R sub A. Since cube yan. Cube. All over R sub B cube. Next process natin. Dahil na-distribute ng exponent. We will be applying cross multiplication. So, i-multiply mo lang yan, we will get t sub a times hmm. nakalimutan ko yung squared, sorry, r sub b cube. All over, sorry, equal is to equal to t b squared mo na. t b sub b squared times r sub a cube. Since ang inahanap natin ay ito, we are going to divide both sides by... T A squared. Ayan. T sub A squared. T sub A squared. Cancelled, cancelled. Ang formula na gagamitin natin ngayon is R sub B cube is equal to T sub B squared times R sub A cube all over T sub A squared. Ngayon, parang ang haba-haba ng formula natin. But if you are going to look at the given, isa-substitute mo lang siya. Using our substitution, gamit tayo ng extra sheet, dahil hindi ka siya. Using substitution, ayan, R sub B cube is now equal to, ano yung T, ano yung T sub B natin? We have 7 weeks. So, 7, take note, kailangan mo siyang squared. Times, R sub A natin is 6 units. Kailangan mo siyang i-cube daw. All over. Ano yung T sub A natin? 2 weeks. So, 2 weeks, kailangan mo siyang i-squared. It is now equal to, using your calculator, kung hindi ka pa sure, R sub B cube is equal to 7 squared is? 49. 49. Imumultiply mo daw siya kay 6 cube. 216. And 6 cube is? 
216. 216 all over 2 squared is 4. four. So, pwede na natin siyang idiradiracho using our calculator. So, fraction muna 49 times 216 all over 4 is equal to yan. 2646. Six. Hindi pa po yan ang ating final answer. So, we have R sub B cube is equal to 2646. 2646. Two, six. Two, six, six. Since ang hinahanap lang natin ay ang distance ni R, since meron siya dyan ang cube, kailangan natin siyang cube root. cube root. Cube root. Kunin natin ang kanyang cube root, so makakancel na po yan. Our distance for satellite B now is equal to Dali. cube root as uh, shift. Pipindutin mo na ang shift and then yan. Lalagyan mo ng 3. Tapos sa loob, 2, 6, 4, 6. Cube root of 2, 6, 4, 6 is now equal to 13.81. Final answer. Or 14. Yan. Or, pwede mo rin namang i-round off 14. Mag Ayun, so that's it for our Mojo 16 mga anak. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. I hope nakatulong ang video discussion na ito. May question ako. Mm -hmm. Ma'am Tintin, ba't ang dami-daming formula? Isa lang naman yung binigay. Na. Ayun nga pala. And since nagbigay tayo ng exa isang example, bakit isa lang? Because yung ibang, exa yung ibang formulas is i-apply nila sa ating susunod na activity. Titingnan natin kung paano nila i-derive ang formula. Titingnan natin kung paano nila i manipulate ang formulas na so, binigay natin. So, pwedeng ang ibigay natin ay yung TA. Oh, no, yes. Uh, pwedeng nawawala ay TB, TA. Pwede yung uh, TB. So, so on and, and so forth. Okay. Mag-aaral mabuti mga anak. Love-love namin kayong lahat ni Ma'am Tintin. Lagi yung tatandaan na kayo ay hashtag Scientastic Students. Bye-bye.